So when I'm traveling to a gig, I need two guitars and my loop stuff. So it kind of looks like this. <coughs> so I've got my guitar here and my other guitar here. One's in normal tuning and one's in dad gad. And then this is my pedal board with my looper and everything in it. Problem is, I haven't got any hands free. So I've found a solution, which is this. <coughs> so I've still got my looper here, that's fine. Now I've got a hand free because this bag actually holds two guitars in the same bag. And I've been looking for this solution for a little while, and then we came across these guys, which is fusion bags. Now, before we get going, I just want to actually say that Fusion Bags sent me this for review. The review is my own thoughts. They are not paying for this review. They are not sponsoring this video. They have not seen this video before it's gone out. There is a link in the description box if you want to go and pick one of these up. But of course, that is an affiliated link that obviously at no extra cost to you and helps me out. Now, Fusion Bags actually make loads of different bags, not just for guitars, but for other instruments as well. And they're made in the UK. However, they will ship to anywhere in the world. But this bag is kind of special because, as I said to you before, it's a little bit bigger, but it actually holds two guitars. Now, its original design was to hold one acoustic and one electric, but I use the Yamaha APX series, and they're actually really thin body guitars, and both of them fit in here. Okay, so I thought it'd be better to actually get this on some kind of table, so I've got my keyboard stand here, and just to show you the size of this thing. Now, the official title for this is the Urban Double acoustic and electric guitar bag. And it's been designed for traveling or commuting with your gear all in one bag. It's ideal to carry, which I'll show you in a minute, as it's got multiple ways of carrying it. And if you're someone who's like a busker, or you're someone who travels on public transport, like buses and trains, this is perfect. The bag is designed with ridiculous amounts of storage space, and actually designed unevenly. What I mean by that is this section at the top here is wider and there's another section underneath that's thinner. This is meant to be the acoustic guitar section and this is meant to be the electric guitar section. So if you carry an acoustic and an electric guitar to gigs, this is ace. However, with the guitars that I've actually got, which are the APX range from Yamaha, or if you've got a thin bodied acoustic guitar, you can fit two of them in here. And I've done it, I've tested it, it works. So let's go over the Fusion bag and why it's called Fusion. The shell of the bag is actually made from 20 millimeter, which is 0.79 inches, of a lightweight, high density foam, which of course is what you want. You want it protected in case it gets bashed around. The top and the bottom actually have this sort of like rubberized feet uh, material, this kind of like really lovely material on the top and obviously on the bottom, spreading the whole area. So if you were to drop it, it actually hits this and it's robust for scratching or obviously putting it down in the streets, in the pavement, if you're busking or if you're just taking it to a gig. This material is ripstop, it's water resistant, it's PVC, which means it's gonna be taking care of all your equipment outside to make sure it's not damaged or worst case scenario, rained on. I mean, let's face it, I live in the UK. Now it is a backpack, however, what you can do is you can actually store those backpack pieces away. So you've got our backpacks here. These are really padded and they actually have this clip. So we can actually pocket that away if you want to and you can pocket that bit away in here. So if you just want to carry it, there is a handle on the other side. You just want to carry it as opposed to put it on your back. There's a chest and a waist strap, obviously, to help disperse with the weight. And this part here actually is to get your fingers in so you can carry it, obviously, at different points. Now, I'm going to move the bag, and it's going to look a bit odd, but you can actually hold the bag here. There's a big area here and an area on this side. So if you're carrying it maybe down an aisle in a train, just carrying it through some doors, obviously, it's a lot wider than your average guitar bag. So it's Clunk, clunk, clunk. It means that obviously you've got obviously ways of carrying it. As I said to you before, there's the handle there. Nice, big, reinforced handle to hold it if you just want to carry it by your side. Before we dive into the full components of the bag, let's go over the actual top compartments because there are multiple top compartments here. Starting with right at the very top here, we've got a compartment which you can put stuff in. And I can actually put my hand right down to here. So this is actually a really deep pocket where you want to put maybe, I'll put a tripod in there maybe for, if I'm going to be filming whilst recording or live streaming, like a little mini tripod, but yay high. Um, you can put stuff in there, maybe a capo or capo, depending how you call it. And we've got our three pockets here. There's our handle, which is this sort of mesh feel, which is nice and soft. This first pocket here, which is the biggest pocket, 
actually has the rain cover inside. So this is a rain cover that comes with it. So if it's proper chucking it down, of course you can cover it in. It is water resistant, but of course this will then make it waterproof. This pocket goes all the way down to the bottom here. And it's really, really big and really, really deep. And then our second pocket is actually an organizer. So we've actually got things like a mesh pocket here for just throwing things in. Again, this goes really, really deep. Then you've got keys, put your business cards in here, uh, put any paperwork that you want in here. You could put your phone in there if you really wanted to as well. Pens in here, or even if you just want to put smaller items like plectrums, capos in here instead. The last pocket I found really useful, it's actually a cable pocket. So what you've got is, you can put anything in there, but it's got this little uh, part here that's Velcroed, and of course you can put your cables in there and then feed them in so your cables are nice and coiled, ready to go for your gig. Now the other thing that's on the front that you may notice is actually these hoops. There's one, two, three hoops there, and there's one, two, three hoops there. I'm gonna show you what those hoops mean in a minute. So the dimensions for the whole bag is this is 43.3 inches or 1100 millimeters. The width at its widest point, which is about here, is 17.71 inches or 450 millimeters. And the depth, this is obviously much deeper than your average guitar bag because it holds two. So the depth is 11.81 inches, which is 300 millimeters. So the way this bag works is you can actually open the compartment one way and then the bottom one, you can open it the other way. What I'm now gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this table around 90 degrees so then you guys can see what's in here. Now, before I show you how we fit two guitars into this bag, I wanna to talk to you about releasing music. And this is where our sponsor comes in today, which is DistroKid. If you're making music and you wanna get out there in the world, DistroKid can help you. They even have now an app on the phone and it's never been easier. You can even upload your music via the app. So if you're making things on like GarageBand on the iPad or even a music making app on iOS or Android, then you can actually upload it straight from there. DistroKid are a music distribution company, and that means that if you've got music and you want to push it out to all the different places in the world like Spotify and Deezer, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Pandora, Tidal, even Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, then they can help you. Most music distributors charge you per release, so they charge you every time you release a new piece of music. DistroKid don't do this, they charge you a subscription, and that starts at $22.99. And we have a link that's on the screen now, it's also that QR code, and it's in the description box, and that link will give you 7% off your first annual membership with DistroKid. As I said before, they have an app which is really, really useful because you can actually go in, upload your music, you can see the money that you've been making through the bank, you can even go to your hyperfollow page directly here. So I've got my track here called Stray, and then all I need to do is click the three little lines at the top and click visit hyperfollow, and then it just loads up straight away, and then you can choose how you listen to that piece of music. So thank you very much to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Click the link, scan the QR code, and start distributing your music today. Now, let's get into this. So as I say, we've just moved the table round the other way. So what I'm gonna do is use these zips and unzip the first compartment, which is the widest compartment, which is the acoustic section. Now the first part is actually this section here and here. So these are reinforced as opposed to this is soft. The reason for this is because of things like the headstock and obviously the bridge where the strings scratch against your case. Over a long period of time, it actually wears it down. So this is great and really well thought of to have those parts there. Inside, you're gonna get one of these and this is a neck holder. So what you can do is you can pull this and then put the neck of the guitar in here. As you can see, there are loads of pieces and there's this really, really long piece that goes all the way around. If your guitar is a little bit too big, you can take these out, you can position these wherever you need them to be. They actually give you too many, and that's a good thing because maybe as you wear one down, you can add another one on, but this you can actually position just here, put the guitar neck there. And for whatever reason, if the guitar bag was to drop on the floor, then it's gonna hit that and this is actually really padded, saving the neck and keeping it protected. So of course you can take these out. There's a little one here as well. And then what we can do is we can actually position this around the guitar to keep it safe, or we can utilize this in a completely different way, which I'm gonna show you later. So the top section has this really long piece that you can take off, a short one, three of these, and the neck protector. Now in the sense of guitars, I've actually just grabbed my red APX 500 here. I'm just gonna take all these pieces out apart from the neck brace 
And as you can see, if I put this on here, it's just going onto there, no problem. And what I've done is I've just squoze that neck piece here, and then of course I can tie this round together to keep it protected. Now you've still got all of these, so of course it's up to you. If you want to put something in here and separate this out, you can do that. We can actually put this across this way underneath, and then of course then you've got something like a space there to put something in if you really, really want to. Or if you want to protect the headstock a little bit more, of course you could put things around here as well. Even without all of these, this is still really, really thick, really well padded, and you could just put this in and off you go. So of course we can just zip this back up. And that's our first guitar in. So the next section is the bottom section, which is underneath. So I'm just gonna walk around and unzip it from this side, just so you guys can see it here. And if I unzip this, of course, there we go. Please don't obviously just throw this over. If you're on the ground, you've got a guitar in here, so protect your guitar. So I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit and then I'm gonna lift this up. So my guitar is in here already and we've got another section here. As you can see, we've got a smaller version of the protection and we've got two of the longer and two of the smaller and we've got another slightly thinner neck brace. So we can put that there. Now you wouldn't be doing this on a table like this. You'd probably be doing this on the floor or a very big desk. So I'm gonna grab the other guitar. So this is my APX 600. So before I put the guitar in, I'm gonna take these out, put the APX 600 here. And then we might need to take this bit off. I think if I remember correctly, yes, we did. So this bit here, I'm actually gonna take away. So even without that, that will fit in snug there. I can wrap this one up. Now, this is designed for an electric guitar. So I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit of a squeeze. However, it does fit in. Now it doesn't look like it fits in to begin with, but then when we start zipping it up, in it goes, no problem. And in there right now is two guitars. Now in the bottom section, I took this bit out and took these bits out. Of course, I could actually, again, pad these up, put these around different sections if I want to, or not use them at all. So inside here now is two APX guitars. It's not very difficult to lift, it's heavier slightly. Yes, we get the freedom and able to carry two guitars to a gig. Now let's say we don't need two guitars, we only need the one guitar that's at the bottom, I don't actually need to take the top guitar, then we could just obviously leave it and just put it in one, or we can use this section for something completely different. So what I could do is I could actually take everything out of here and just take the guitar out, so we'll just put this back on the wall. And then what we could do is we could actually utilize this space in a very different way. These are completely removable. So we could actually put that there like that. So I've got my guitar in there. I'm gonna pop a looper in there. This is the new Sheeran Looper Plus. We can put that round there like that. We'll put a keyboard in there. I can even take this bit out and we've still got all this space. Maybe I want to put in a audio interface or I want to put in a bunch of cables. There's absolutely loads of space and buckets of ideas with the extra pads that you get. But I primarily was looking for a bag that will store two guitars. And the great thing is I normally stuff things around here, but I actually got even more space because I've still got those pockets that are available to me. But what if I need even more space than that? Well, that's why this is called Fusion. Enter this, this is a Fusion bag. This is actually their medium Fusion bag and it comes in a couple of different sizes. So this is a backpack and it's a backpack in its own right. So you can use it as a day bag, you can put clothes in, uh, we can actually utilize it, but it's got these unique straps here and they're sort of like a hard shell on one side and a Velcro on the other. So this has got a couple of pockets in itself, which is really, really nice. Really nice padded bag, really high quality. And this is where these hooks come in, because what you can do is you can actually attach this to this bag and you can have even more space. This is the medium one. They do a small one and they do a large. So we'll take this Velcro bit off. This is kind of rigid. And then what we can do is we can feed that through and put it there. And then same with this one. Um, and then we can put that there. So lifting this up now, we've got the backpack on, maybe you fill it with your clothes, or maybe you fill that with your effects or your cables. You've still got these pockets, I put that on the higher one, you can still access those pockets, no problem. And there are two guitars in there. Now putting this on my back, yes, it's heavier than carrying one single guitar. And do you feel a little bit like the old lady at Labyrinth carrying everything on your back? Ah, get off my back! 
<laughs> Maybe, but it actually saves loads of space. And I've got two guitars here and I'm one strapping. So if I actually put this on properly, what I really like about this and what I'm really happy with, and I've been speaking to Fusion Bags about this, is the weight distribution is really good. One thing you've got to be aware of is the depth. So you've actually got to be aware, obviously, that if you turn around, certainly if you're on a bus or something, you could knock someone out with it. So you've got to be really careful with that. But I think this is a fantastic solution if you carry more than one guitar or if you're actually carrying one guitar and you need to carry a load of equipment as well. So will I be using this bag all the time? No, I won't be using this bag all the time because maybe I just need one guitar and I'm just going to an open mic night. This is probably a little bit overkill for something like that. However, if I'm going somewhere where I'm going for a couple of days or I need to take two guitars, I'm definitely going to be using this because I then don't have to use the two separate ones. One's on my back, one I'm carrying, then I've got the looper. It's really difficult. Even with the loop case, which is just here, if I just pick this up, I am carrying two guitars and I'm not feeling like it's like, oh, like killing my back or anything. You've got the chest strap, you've got a waist strap as well if you want to obviously distribute the weight. I would really, really highly recommend it if you're using an electric and acoustic or two acoustics and you've got thin bodied ones or you want to carry one and then you want to put extra stuff in the back. Now, I was able to put an acoustic guitar in the thin part, of course, and then the thicker part, I actually did fit this in it. Now it put weight on it massively. So I was able to fit this in the thick section of the acoustic section. So I was able to put that in there. So actually I could go to a gig with one guitar and the full loop rig completely hands-free. The downside was it did add a lot of weight, so you have to be careful of that. I just want to thank Fusion Bag for sending this out to me. I've actually been using the backpack that's on the back there on its own on just days off. It's been really, really nice. It's a really nice backpack. They make bags for lots of different instruments, really high quality, and of course they do make single bags as well if you want to check them out. Now if you are using something like this and maybe you're busking and you want the lightest mic stand that I know of, it's this one, and this is made by Gravity Stands. This is their Traveler series, and that video is right here.